This week in the shop, we are building this beautiful character cherry bench. I'm gonna walk you through every single step you need to know to build your own bench in this video. And better yet, there's plans available in the video description down below. So click on them, get the plans, follow along with the video, and build yourself a flipping bench. I've also linked every single tool and piece of hardware that I use in this video in the video description. So if you need anything, you can get it. Now, let's build a bench. White snow, red sky, reach up this video is proudly sponsored by Firm Grip Gloves. All right, so we're gonna be building this bench out of character cherry. I have about 20 board feet of character cherry for this bench. It's probably a little bit more than we need, but I always like to buy a little extra because I make mistakes. Yes, I'm only human. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we have a few things that we actually have to glue up for this piece. We gotta glue up the panel for our top that's actually gonna make up our bench seat. We also have to glue up the pieces for our legs. Our legs are gonna be 90 degree little corner legs. So we gotta glue those pieces together. So we wanna do that first so that we can set those aside, work on all our other pieces, and then by the time we're done with our other pieces, hopefully our glue ups are ready to go. We can take them out of clamps and start putting our bench together. So. I'm gonna take this cherry, I'm gonna mill it up, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll glue it all together. Now we've completed the first step in being a woodworker. You take perfectly good boards, you cut them down into small pieces, and then you glue them all back together into another big piece, hence making furniture. We have all of our pieces milled down and roughly cut to size. We have all of our lower bench structure in these two inch pieces and a few inch and a quarter pieces, which I will explain in just a second. We're gonna set those aside right now and we're gonna focus on these bigger pieces. Now, we need three pieces cut to six and three eighths of an inch to glue up our bench top. So we're gonna glue this up right now and then set it aside. We'll start focusing on our lower leg and um, base structure. So we're gonna do that. Let's talk leg construction. Our bench is gonna be made up of four legs, obviously. Each leg is gonna be roughly 20 inches long. The way I'm designing these legs is gonna be a 90 degree. So you're gonna have three quarter inch stock coming off in two directions, which works really well for a bench base because that gives you two surfaces to tie in your structure that creates your base. Now to create this 90 degree leg look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of that two inch wide stock that we already milled up, but then we're gonna take a piece of inch and a quarter wide stock and we're gonna glue it onto the opposite side. Why inch and a quarter? Well, obviously we're using three quarter inch stock. So once we glue on that inch and a quarter piece, you're gonna have a profile of two inches on both sides of your leg. Now, I was gonna do mitered corners, have them both be two inch pieces so that you have perfect grain match that wraps around the leg, but I wanted to try and keep this video a little more attainable to most people, and this look is perfectly fine. It's gonna look great once we get it glued up. The one thing that you can do is make sure that you have grain matched cuts. So what I did was I cut my two inch piece from the same piece that I cut my inch and a quarter piece. So you can kind of see the grain matches perfectly from this piece to this piece. That way, when you fold this around, 
and glue it together, you will have a little split of your grain right there, but the grain match is gonna be a lot better than if you didn't try and grain match. You don't have to do it this way. It's just one little step that takes your piece to kind of the next level. So that's what we did here. It's as simple as that. We have glued our inch and a quarter piece onto our two inch piece. It is very important to note that you glue it on the right side. You don't wanna glue the inch and a quarter over here where you're gonna have a three and a quarter inch piece by a half inch, which isn't gonna look right. So it's always good to take your tape measure and just double check. We got two inches there. We got two inches there, which is exactly what we want. Let this dry up and then we will cut it down into our legs. While our leg pieces dry up, we're gonna go ahead and cut all the pieces for our lower base structure and get those out of the way. Now that we've cut all of our lower base pieces to size, we have to determine how we're gonna hook our bench seat onto our lower base structure. Now when it comes to attaching tabletops, bench tops, coffee tabletops, anything like that, there's one system that I always like to use if the design allows it, and that's these little metal Z clips. The reason these are so great is because your wood is gonna wanna move seasonally. It's gonna wanna expand and contract, and these little Z clips are designed to allow that to happen. They have just enough flex that as your top moves, the clip will move with it. They're really easy to adapt to any design. Basically, all you have to do is take your skirt that's gonna be right underneath your bench seat or tabletop, and you simply dado out a quarter inch groove down the middle. Now, it's quarter inch deep. It's only an eighth inch wide. You just use a standard saw blade to put this in there. You bring it down a half inch from the top, and your Z-clip sits right in that groove, and then you attach it to the top with a simple screw. This is a great system. I will put a link to these in the video description down below. They're a great thing to use to attach tops. So our top and our legs are still in clamps. We're waiting for those to finish gluing up. So while we do that, I'm going to pre-sand all of my base pieces. This is just gonna make the finishing process a lot easier. They're already gonna be sanded. We're not gonna have to you know, deal with all those little nooks and crannies quite as much. The one thing you wanna note when pre-sanding is you don't wanna round over any edges where you're gonna have a joint or it's not gonna be a tight joint. So just keep that in mind while you're pre-sanding all your pieces. At this point, our legs have been in clamps for about two hours, which is plenty of time for them to glue up nice and strong. So we're gonna go ahead and take all these clamps off, cut our legs to size, and get them sanded down. Now that our pieces are all cut to the same size, the correct size, I'm going to fancy them up a little bit. So at the bottom of each leg, I'm going to taper down the bottom to just a three quarter of an inch square so that the point of contact where it hits the floor will be smaller. The way I'm gonna do this is super easy. On the chop saw, I'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle coming up on the leg an inch and a quarter and in an inch and a quarter. I already marked it out right there where I wanna cut on both sides so I can just throw it in the chop saw, trim that down, do this to all four of my legs, and I'll have a nice little tapered foot at the bottom of my bench. We've got all of our pieces pre-sanded for the base. We've got our legs out of clamps, pre-sanded those as well. So now it's time to start figuring out how we're gonna join our entire base together. 
We're actually gonna join this base together in three different parts. We're gonna do our lower shelf first, get that all joined together. It's a slatted shelf comprised of 10 different slats floating in between two side rails. Get that glued together, set it aside. Then we're gonna do our, our end pieces, get those all glued together, let those dry up. And then once our ends are dry and our shelf's dry, we're gonna have fewer pieces that we have to deal with and we're gonna join the entire thing. Now I'm gonna be doing all the joinery for this project with the domino joiner. So all of our pieces are mortised out with the domino joiner. I went ahead and I did the leg pieces as well because we're going to do those end pieces and the shelf and then we're going to put the whole thing together. So I'm going to get these glued up and in clamps and then we will wait, let them dry and put the entire thing together. Our bench sides are domino together. They're in clamps. They're sitting right over there drying up. So now we got to do our shelf so we can get that in clamps. This is definitely the trickiest part of the entire build because you've got 10 slats that you got to get lined up in the corresponding holes. What I like to do, because all these slats are gonna be locked in between these two side rails, is I will glue my end slats and I glue the two slats in the middle. All the other slats, I have my dominoes actually preset into my slats. I glue the dominoes into the slats, but I just forego the glue in the rail. You don't need it. Essentially, they're just gonna be floating in there, but they're gonna be locked in place with those slats that are glued on the end and in the middle. So they can't come out, still gonna be just as strong. And it just prevents the likelihood that you're gonna get glue in more places all over the finished piece. So we're gonna glue this thing together, making sure, very sure that it is square. It's super important that each rail is square to itself. Once you get the slats in there, just throw a little speed square on the end of each one. Make sure they're square as you're getting them clamped up and you should be good to go. I like to start at the end and work my way one direction as I'm putting that top piece on, just slowly going along. It's a little tricky, but you can get it done. Let's do it. gone about as far as we can go with our base at this point. We have all our pieces in clamps. We're just waiting on glue to dry. So while we're waiting for that, I took the top out of clamps. I cut it down to size. I'm going to get this all sanded down and then I'm going to put a nice round over around the entire thing with the router. So I'm going to do that and then hopefully by the time I'm done, that stuff will be dry and we can finish this thing. top is all sanded at this point. I put a nice round over around the entire edge with just a round over bit on my little trim router. Super easy. So with our top done, I pulled everything else out of clamps. So now it's time to do our final glue up on our base. We've already done some preliminary glue ups. This final glue up should go pretty easy. We're just slapping the ends on with our shelf and our upper skirt in place. So we're going to do that now, get it all in clamps. Then once it dries, a little sanding, we can finish it hook the top on, and we got a bench. Thank you. 
just like that, our bench is finished. We are so close to being done. The very last thing we have to do is attach our top. It's still not on there. But because we planned ahead to use those Z-clip fasteners, it's going to be super easy. So we're going to do that right now, and we're done. And our bench is done. Hope you guys enjoyed that build. Like I said, there are plans available in the video description down below. So if you want to build one yourself, make sure to click on those plans links. Also, I linked every single tool that I used in this entire video down below. So if you saw something you're interested in, click the link, treat yourself. Now, go build a bench. White snow, red sky, reach out for souls.